cause I'm a thug All day, 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 day. Baby, cause I'm a thug Wouldn't change for the world Cause I'm a thug oh, I should not have ate that much last night My stomach is killing me Yeah, that's That's what happens when you binge eat And then go to bed But at least you have an enteric nervous system To help digest your food for you we all have a two-sided autonomic nervous system, which takes care of bodily processes without us having to think about them. The enteric nervous system has its own special branch, consisting of neurons that regulate specifically digestion. In fact, just thinking about food tells the enteric nervous system that it's time to go to work. First, hormones from your brainstem tell your gut to prepare for digestion by secreting even more hormones, like ghrelin, an appetite stimulant. Then, when food physically enters your stomach, it activates mechanoreceptors in the stomach wall, so it knows to accommodate whatever needs to be digested. When it comes to fat, like all that pizza you had last night, digestion takes some extra steps. Fats need to be broken down in the small intestines by digestive enzymes like pancreatic lipase, and we emulsify fats into small droplets called chylomicrons. This way, they can be transported to the blood. They then get sent to the liver for storage as fat cells or conversion to glucose for energy. In the case of fat, these extra steps mean slower gastric motility, and could lead to an upset stomach. But don't worry, the enteric nervous system knows what to do. Uh, I guess all that fatty stuff didn't really digest well. Yeah, you weren't drinking any water either. I hear that's a good idea when you turn 21. Actually, speaking of drinks, weren't you supposed to meet Banu today, like half an hour ago? Oh, crap! Hey, Banu. Hey, what's up? Sorry I'm late. It's okay. Are you feeling okay? You don't look so good. Yeah, I've been having this like burning sensation in my throat. So. Really? I think you might have GERD. What's GERD? GERD is gastroesophageal reflux disease. Oh wow, I've never heard of that. Really? So what happens is the lower esophageal sphincter does not close properly. So all the acid that's been building up, it comes back into your esophagus and it causes inflammation. Wow. So yeah, I'm gonna take something to drink. How about you take these antacids? They have calcium carbonate in them, so they'll help neutralize the acid. Oh, sweet. I can use these at my exam that I forgot about. Oh, no. <laughs> you made it. Hey, you didn't forget we had a physiology test today, did you? I kind of did, but uh, hey, I'm here now. Um, I think I got this. Like, I learned all about the enteric nervous system. I learned how fats are digested, and apparently I have GERD, so... But, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of nervous. My stomach's still kind of upset. Uh, I had some antacids uh, that Bono gave me after our date, and... Do you have them? I, I don't think so. I think I forgot them. Oh, well, you know, I heard if you just take deep breaths, you know, five seconds in, five seconds out, it actually activates your parasympathetic nervous system and sends more blood to your stomach. That could help you relax a little bit and help out with that stomach pain. Yeah, I'm already feeling a lot better. Thanks. No problem. You may now begin the test. Good luck. Thanks, you too. Oh yeah, more pizza for me tonight, baby! Woo! Nice. Let's get out of here.